Valentine is coming. Where is your girlfriend? You are sitting at home. You are so lonely. Valentine is coming. Where is your boyfriend? You met a captain flowers. You are so lonely. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ugochi Vivian Uka. If this is your first time here, thank you so much. I hope that before the end of this video, you will like and be a member of this team. And if it's not your first time here, thank you for always coming back um, and watching my videos. Please remember to click like, to subscribe, to share to your friends and everyone else. Okay, thank you. So um, recently I was chatting with my friend Noye and she, she suggested that I should make a video about consistency with regards to habits. And I was like, hmm, I don't think I'm the right person to make this video. Like, I would never describe myself as consistent. And she was like, what are you talking about? You're consistent with your Duolingo French learning. You always exercise. You um, make YouTube videos. I would say you're consistent. And then I thought about it and I was like, maybe you're right. Because right now I have over 500 um, days of French learning on Duolingo. Like, um five to five for over 500 days streak um and i do my exercise pretty much every day except that one period in a month and so yeah i was like oh okay and and sometimes you know it's good to have good friends i've talked about friendship in one of my previous videos and this is one of the reasons why you should have good friends because they remind you of of your um abilities and and your good qualities that some, sometimes you do you take for granted or you're not even aware of so because of that, I decided that I'm going to talk about consistency today. Um, how to be consistent. Funny enough, this year I joined um, a group um, started by my friend's sister, um, Kem's um, sister, Akuna, um, which was on building habits. And I've learned so much from that group. And, and through that group, I also realized that I already had some of those habits and it helped me to strengthen them even more. So I'm going to talk about these habits or what I do to be consistent and um, what I've learned over the years. And I hope that that will help you in building your own habits and being consistent with your own habits and achieving your goals or dreams. So the first thing, I always pick a task or an objective that I think is important. So you have to pick something that is important to you and you have to tell yourself why that is important what would that do for you when you achieve it so for example with regards to exercise it's important to me because when i do it i feel energetic i know that um I, i'm healthier like it's good for my body it's good for my health um it also makes me um keep fit right like i i stay fit I like my figure at the end of the day when I wear clothes, it suits me better. So happy that you know is important to you and that already is a motivator to be consistent. Number two, set a reminder. So that reminder could be an alarm clock. It could be somebody that you, that checks up on you. So somebody who keeps you accountable. Um, and it could just even be a natural reminder so for example um with my french learning i have i have the duolingo that you know sends me a reminder around three o'clock every single day to to do it but even without that like there are times during the day when i start to wind down when i'm working and i start to feel tired that's when i just feel like okay let me do something else let me switch it off and then that's when i do my um my french exercises so that's what I mean by natural reminders. I also, for my exercise, I have my friend Monglan who, whenever I exercise, um, I take a picture of myself and I send it to her. She does the same thing. So we do exercise checks. So that's also a reminder because if I haven't done it by the time she sends me hers, I'll remember. And um, sometimes she will also ask me, where's your picture? So that's a good way to build or uh, be consistent in your habits. Number three tip from me, do that task and yet in, in, in you remember it if you can. So if you start postponing it and you're like, okay, I'll do it later and you don't have any actual reminder or you just keep snoozing that reminder, 
before you know it might be night time and you won't be able to do it so sometimes if i'm doing something and i just remember do this like do you know, your exercise or when i wake up in the morning i remember do your exercise after my prayers i just do it um if if there's anything that i really want to do i would do it immediately i remember it unless i know i already have a time set out for it like i, I talked about previously so that's a good way to be consistent number four um set a positive environment for that task i learned this in the group actually um so what does that mean if there's anything that is going to encourage you around your environment you think for yourself if there's anything that's going to encourage you to do that task that you want to do then um help yourself out so for me for example um i know i want to read my bible every night before i go to bed so my bible is just right on my pillow so that i before i can lay my head on my on my pillow i'd have to hold the bible and so that's a good way to remind yourself as well to do that task um also if you want to be doing exercises you can't and you need to create a space for it right so if, whether you're jumping or you're doing zumba or you want to put an exercise bike so you have to create the space so so that is not the time you want to do exercise and you start pushing things around so just set a space or something for that particular task so that you can do it with ease whenever you're ready to do it also be well equipped so you want to do exercise it's not the day you want to do exercise that you remember you don't have running shoes or you remember that you don't have fitness clothes and then you and then you tell yourself oh, okay well i can't do it today tomorrow i'll do it no if you decide that that's what you want to start doing as soon as you can go and buy all the things that you need for it you don't have to get everything at once but you can start small but at least get the essential things that you need so that when you when you're ready to do it when it's time for you to do it you can do it immediately so when i wanted to um start exercising i got my shoes got my skipping rope got my socks got my um fitness top and trousers and yeah i was good to go so that's one thing else that helps me number five i would say think ahead think ahead of time so before this pandemic i used to travel a lot and i knew that if i traveled like if i were at the airport i might not have good wi-fi connection to do my french exercise or my duolingo so every time i knew i was going to travel i would do my french exercise before i got to the airport um unless i was sure that that airport had good um wi-fi or i had enough data on my on my phone so so that's what i mean so if you if you're going to do something else that day that you don't normally do then you should plan ahead i mean if you think that you can skip that day that's okay but just try as much as possible not to be skipping days and one way to do that is by planning ahead and i'm talking about skipping days I never do cheat days. I know some people do when even they're having a diet and then they do cheat day. I don't do cheat days because I just think that that's a way to fall into a hole. If I say I'm going to do this for two weeks, then I'm going to do it the whole two weeks. So I know I've finished doing whatever it is that I'm going to do. And then after two weeks, I can evaluate myself or I can change my plans or repeat it. But one cheat day can become two days, become one week, become one month, and then you never, ever, ever go back to it. So, yeah, no cheat days. Try as much as possible not to do any cheat days. And those are the tips I have for being consistent. I hope that they help you somehow. These have been things that have helped me. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to your friends. And thank you so much for watching. Um, Thank you for being consistent on my youtube channel and i hope to continue to bring you some consistent content okay until next time please stay safe and god bless bye